Hi there, my name is Mark and I'm the creator of Wreck and Ruin. Welcome to the Wasteland. So today I decided to do a video update because I've had a lot of stuff coming in over the last couple of weeks. Um, I've not really shared it, I've just been kind of collecting it just now and I just wait until I've got enough stuff to actually show and I think you're going to be quite excited. It's uh, some pretty cool stuff and yeah, let's go on with it. So. First thing is, this has came in from China, so been sending files to China, basically showing them what I wanted to do, and uh, yeah, they've been sending me stuff back, so I about we crack this bad boy open, and we'll see what's in here. So this is the first actual box in existence, and I tell you, it's a really strange feeling to have a box come in with your name in the front of it. But I'm happy, I think it looks cool. So, for those that watched the last update, I had the punch boards. Uh, if you're at Glasgow Games Festival, you would have seen these already, but these are the all the tokens that came with the game. So, these ones came out of the punch boards. Really happy we did the stretch goal to get them a little bit thicker. Turned out pretty cool. I updated these, these are player guides. So now I've updated them with the vehicles so that you can actually, when you play your faction, you can see which one's which for each player. Nice updated player guide. This is just a quick setup, lets you know Basically, how to jump straight into the game gives you a brief overview of all the kind of rules and let's get started straight away. So, between that and the, the player bite guys, you can basically get off straight away. Round tracker changed the design of this last time, so it now fits onto either side of the board and it comes out the punch board as well, so it's quite good. Got the 10. Double sided boards, all coming out of the punch board, again nice and thick, nice and durable and these went down a treat at Glasgow Games Festival but these are the things that I'm really excited about so these are the first minis to actually come from the production moulds so these are the quality the ones that you're going to get in the game itself so these ones are pretty recognisable because these are the ones that have been with me at every convention for the last year and a half so yep these are where the original reaper sculpts so until we unlock the other ones that's what we're going to have four times over but then we unlocked salvos first and everybody loves that wrecking ball so uh, yeah it looks pretty daunting when you've got it on the board this is the wrecker so yeah, really happy with them turning out in the original colours got some flame pegs as well so all damage is tracked on the models themselves. I was really worried that these would either be too big, too small to fit in, but I'm quite happy how they turned out. It's quite a difficult thing to actually get right, so yeah. Vehicle's driving along, takes a couple of hits, set it on fire. For those of you that weren't here at the start of the development journey, this is coming up to nearly three years now since I started. Uh, since I had the dream, it was a dream that brought all this together and I decided to actually make this game. So I thought I'd share basically the journey and you can see the actual difference the game uh, as, as it came on, basically what it did. So. 
It originally started off on a square grid and as you can see these were my starter models now these actually went to conventions with me to play test and show them off and you'll be able to recognize some of them as the vehicles that they've turned into now we then of course moved on to the first 3d sculpts that I had so these were the the ones that I took to UK Games Expo for the first time uh, didn't look as good as this at the time but yeah these were the ones that came over same faction sculpts for all the vehicles just in the different colours and then just recently so just before Tabletop Gaming Live down in London uh, I received these, these were the the masters that came from China these were the first time that I seen these sculpts uh, in the flesh so up until this point I'd literally only seen the reaper ones to then come down to the actual faction sculpts that came in now from the the moulds themselves so these are the ones that are going to be in every single person's game and I've checked them off and I think you'll agree that there's pretty much no loss in detail from the original 3D masters through to the main sculpts themselves so I'm excited I've got two things left to do so I'm working on the rule book just now I'm going to put up a link for that so I just want people just to give a quick read over I'm um, going cross-eyed trying to find spelling mistakes things like that I think I've got them all but yeah I mean it'd be nice to to share that with you see what you think uh, the other thing is uh, the actual insert so I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before but the plan is always to have an insert in the box for the game to keep all the models in together keep everything nice and tidy and uh, yeah so that's on its way to me just now I've got pictures of it but I've not actually received it so when that comes in I'll share it with you then so any questions you want to know anything you can always just ask me and uh, I'll see what I can do to help you but I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you've enjoyed being on this journey where I won't, I won't say we're at the end of the journey nearly but we're getting close to coming on to the next chapter of it thank you and see you out in the wasteland stay safe out there bye bye